Hi there. This is my first video, hopefully of many, but I'm going to focus on add-ons from the Blender market for the application Blender. So I'm starting here with Gmesh, it recently just updated to 2.0. I had it on wishlist for a while and I was looking at the ratings and it seemed to be not too great. But when I went to 2.0 I decided, ah, I'll give it a shot because I'm always keen to find tools that will speed up the workflow for the topology or sculpting or modeling whatnot. So I'll just jump right into Blender and show you the tool. So loading up Blender, if I quickly generate this, imagine this is a sculpt that you've finished and you want to start to retopologize it. You could head over to Gmesh, select your model, set up G Pencil. This allows you to draw on the surface of your model. So just like that. And how it works is you you want to draw your first primary lines to dictate the flow of the, the faces. And the secondary thing is to do intersecting lines. And this will create the faces that you want. So there's going to be three generated faces because I've cut the end. I could make another face here, but if I don't cut the end, this is going to be ignored. Nothing's going to be generated here. So, and you can get really fine. I don't know about this all linking. I'll have to trial and error. I'm going to have to tweak this in the coming weeks. It doesn't do good shapes like circles at the moment, or I've not figured out a way yet to get good results, so I'll just show you what happens. But for drawn faces, I don't even know what would happen if I do this. For a laugh, see what happens. So I'll generate, I'll do a generation. I'll exit, I'll delete this data and head over to the generated mesh. Head over to edit mode. And I'll just quickly show you the results. So you can see the circle failed. This worked. This almost worked. It looks like it's created vertices that I could actually play with. But it's a strong point seems to be doing faces like this. So I think the best thing about this add-on would, well at the moment, is to create landmarks around the model. Like a, around the ears, the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Kind of like building the corners and the edges of a puzzle and then you can figure out all the middle bits a little bit easier. So if I set up, try and create something. Because I know that I'm going to use a different tool to clean up the retopology and extrude faces and connect faces that if I think ahead I can use this just as a starting point. So I'm expecting a face here, there, there, and then I'll just connect that manually. I feel like you want to avoid mirroring, so leave a small gap. And if this was to be done on a drawn tablet, you'd be far faster in generating the lines. Oh. So 
that's it, I'll just work with that. I'll generate. I'll pause. So the generation took about 15 seconds. I'll just hide. Yep. This here. I've tied this into speed with topple. So if I go into edit mode, I can use this and fire away it manually adding the faces. And at any time I can pull out, select the model, say there was a difficult bit, like this eye was never done. I can just set up the G pencil. Do something like this. Could be quicker actually just manually doing it. Uh, I'm not really sure, maybe. I can generate. This should be quick. That's it done. And then I can select this and then just link it to that model. And then go into edit mode. And then start cleaning up. I think you get the idea about this add on. Could be useful. Like I'm saying, I'm going to try and incorporate in my workflow over the coming weeks. And yeah, I think it should be pretty handy, could be cool. If not, I'll let you know. So just to wrap up, I'll say cheers for watching till the very end. If you've got any feedback, please use the comment section. If, you, if the audio levels are too low, the resolution's too high. I'll happily change. Cool.